What we are doing in the last 30 minutes before we go to bed and then the first 30 minutes after we wake up can shape our whole day. Today I will share some positive mindset tips for homemaking with healthy boundaries and that will increase the productivity and will spark more joy for homemaking. I saw a cute idea on Instagram. It was created from candies and some crumbled up cake. And I wanna recreate that in a gluten and dairy free version with my own twist on it. <laughs> so that's what I'm preparing this brownie for. Being open-minded in life has great benefits and it doesn't need to stop at the simple tasks like grocery shopping. Sometimes I go with a friend so we can introduce each other to new produce and food. I have a few friends who just as enthusiastic to cook like I am so we like to go to shop together. It's a simple way to get some time with my friends as I cross one thing off of my list. cakes in different shape that are gluten free they only have water and rice flour in there some bok choy and aragula i got lots of mushrooms because they have the best variety or in any asian store if you go to you can find many many mushrooms kimchi a small package of ribs i bought some lychee and longan and rosemary Learning to cook wasn't easy at the beginning and then we had to switch to adjust to our diet which is gluten and dairy free. Learning this skill over the years brought so many benefits to our life as a family. Homemade food, the taste is better, it's better on the budget and it's way healthier. So to adopt that new skill, it improved our health it definitely helped me to give a more understanding as i'm shopping for food what to buy basically it's just a better acknowledge what is working for the best for our body and support that nutrition is everything especially for kids it's a must for a good start Besides creating these healthy meals, it's also a nice occasion to get together, especially now that our kids are older and they do have many things that they do on their own. It's a nice habit to sit down together and eat together and that's when we chat the most.
Boring, mundane tasks can be daunting, but if we shift our mind to make it better and improve, that will spark the creativity and will change the re repetitiveness because the creativity can be anywhere. And if we try to think about things, what we can improve, there will be a solution. It's also a nice habit to keep some nice beautiful flowers at home but that's not the case we just had our wedding anniversary the 24th one so that's why all those beautiful flowers Jord bought me the big bouquet and my friend stopped by to giving me the smaller bouquet that I'm enjoying very much When I clean my home, I do it with an intention of fresh start. A clean surface leaves a fresh energy in the room and I think of it as a way of detoxing, giving a fresh touch and love to the home. Love your home and it will love you back. Creating recipes takes some time and then posting them on the website, <laughs> well it's even more. But as I promised the dragon fruit energy bar is up on my website, it's already published and I'm working on the blueberry muffins and then also I will have this up as well that I'm creating now, that's a chocolate pudding and I made some brawny that I still want to work on though. <laughs> Another habit that I implemented in the homemaking, I just really truly just trying to have fun. As an artist, I like to mix colors and that includes food as well. <laughs> so I achieved this green color with some matcha powder and I added some maple syrup just to bring out a darker color and just stick to the coconut flakes a little bit more. And that will provide the grass part for the decor for this um, dessert. And I'm also putting up some ribs for lunch because my boys are volunteering all week. So they've been working really hard and they're going to come home a little bit later than the lunch time. So I know they're going to be starving when they get home. So it's going to be a nice surprise for them because they love ribs. This is another way I like to get creative. Basically, I'm just dumping all my leftovers <laughs> into one pot. Well, with some limits. I'm not going to put jam in there. <laughs> but sometimes this is how the best recipes are born in my kitchen when I'm discovering new flavors that way. Taking time and sitting down properly to eat a meal as a homemaker. When I'm alone, it started with a discipline. Now it became a self-care routine that I really enjoy and looking forward to. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your You say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they 
sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night You go now Oh, you're coming back Yeah, I know that Yeah, I know that So the traveling kind It's not fast as we creating boundaries with others, with friends and family, our home has boundaries as well. And what are those boundaries? I will share it with you in a few minutes. But first, let's have a lunch and let's try the dessert. This is tender and juicy and these mushrooms are complementing so well this taste. Mmm, this is one of my favorite. Before I continue with the home boundaries, here's another habit and that is gratitude. I have to wash this shirt every day <laughs> because they got only one shirt from the camp where they volunteering and let me tell you, <laughs> they are helping with the games for the little ones and they are outside so they sweat through that shirt. So I have to wash them by hand because I don't have a full load to wash it in the washing machine. And while it creates an extra work for me, I think of that with a gratitude that, that I have a loved one to care for. What we invest in our surrounding is what we will get back. Creating a calm, organized place will improve our mental and physical health. It will support us. Respecting the limits of our home is to accept what it can hold. Letting go of the clutter will give emotional, physical freedom, additionally to save time in the everyday tasks. Takes effort and time, but it's free. Holding on to items that we don't use doesn't mean we are respecting and taking a good care of them. It's the other way around. They will be neglected, collecting dust will be distracting to us and will bring out the frustration passing on and blessing others with it who likely to use it will bring a function to those belongings and we will honor our home's limits Reaching our goal with decluttering is very rewarding, but we also have to maintain. So we have to go back and check because there are some sneaky items that can clutter up the space.
one of the area where I have to keep a tight inventory that would be the refrigerator and since I have those swilling dishes it helps me to keep on track how much amount I bring in there once a week so the other struggle would be my pantry so I'm trying to streamline my recipes and that's the only way to simplify things in there basically just streamlining the recipes meaning of that getting creative with the recipes and using uh, similar ingredients is definitely something that can reduce the amount of things in the pantry Every summer I like to create this dried dehydrated vegetable mix. I use them as a spice for soups, on chicken, you name it, I put it on. <laughs> it's going to contain a lot of colorful vegetables. Um, should I go with the original plan or should I make bread? Uh, vegetables. No bread. Bread. Um, let's dehydrate the vegetable first. Another way where I can combine the two points, the creativity and then breaking up a mundane task is to get creative with the space as well because I created this kitchen area on the outside and it's been so uplifting to being outside on the sunshine and at the same time I can get things done and my kitchen doesn't get messy. <laughs> If you like to laugh, stay until the end because I will have the bloopers gathered there. Stars, I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me 
There's only one thing left to do 